Hey, it's Riches, Mowers, and Blowers. Psh. What do we got today? Well, this was given to me by a co-worker. What do we got? What are we looking at? It is a Yardman by MTD. Push mower has that Briggs 625 series on it. 190 cc's so this is a bigger engine than you would find on some of these lawnmowers that they're selling now for 300 bucks that have like the little three horsepower like 300 series so this is the bigger 6.25 does have a bag with it so this was setting out behind their house and it just stopped working I guess they got a new lawnmower I guess that's what people do so if it stops working go buy a new one and put this one underneath the tree so let's take a look underneath it it's not too bad it's not all boogered up too bad a little rusty probably just from setting around on the ground does have uh, the mulcher on it, so that's good. Did not have the little side plate that you could get with it, so it does say rear bag mulch and side discharge, so there's no side plastic discharge with it. But it does have the bag, which is in good shape, looks to be. Now this has the one wheel lift, so it will lift both the front wheels and this will lift both of the back wheels. So that's pretty good. Instead of having four you have to go do, you only have one that will do the front, one that will do the back. So not too bad. Let's check some of the vitals out. Oh, there's some gas in there, and if you could have smell a vision, you would have uh, just plugged your nose right now. Because it's bad gas in there. Looks a little thick. Let's see what we got for some oil. Not too bad, not too dark. Has oil in it. Do the little trick here. My uh, green rag. Let's see what we got. That's yeah, short. I'd rather have it short than an uh, inch and a half too much. So, but looks good. We could probably just add some to it and it'll turn out just fine. Let's check out the air filter. It looks relatively clean. So, it's not too beat up. Let's see if we can get this off. See what the air fill. Well, take that back. I don't think they've ever changed the air filter. And it's soiled with oil. So either they did have too much in it that spit out and or leaking some oil out through the carburetor tilted the wrong way whatever happens to them so that definitely seen better days we can't salvage that one fellas that'll need a new one all right let's uh next step is to let's put a little go-go juice in there and we'll see if it'll pull over
Well, I did not expect that at all. So that was very interesting because that gas doesn't smell too good. So it has something in there that's making it run. That little kick start of the starter fluid should have stalled by then. But obviously it was tilted and it has oil in the side of that muffler there. So it's got to burn off. It's the only way to do it, let it run for a little bit and burn that oil off. And then we'll see if it stops smoking. So if it stops smoking, then that's what it was, had some oil in there. Now, it, well, I guess it looks a little oily, I don't know. If any of the bolts, I don't see like big oil drips on it. So it's, it's looking pretty good there. I don't see any oil on the deck at all. So it must have been tilted sideways at some point. And uh, so I'm just gonna stop it and we'll let it run and see if it works itself out. Put I'm gonna go grab some fresh gas too and put it in there. So I went and added some oil to it. So we got it back up in there. Put a little gas in it. I'm going to uh, clip off the handle and let it run. And we'll go from there. So I pulled it five or six times. I primed it. And it will not start on its own. So you can see in here. You know how good you can see. You can see the gum gummed up. So I was surprised that it kept running. So whatever was in there, it was enough to fire it. Might be because it has a new spark plug. So, and I was checking out the blade to make sure that it was on, so I unhooked the spark plug. Did forget to say that. Check out the blade, make sure it's tight before you start things up. Never know who's monkeying around with them. So I'm going to shoot another thing of ether in there. And we will uh, see if it'll keep running. seemed to quit smoking. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks like you can see it in the camera there. So it stopped smoking and then all of a sudden it started smoking up again. So my next plan is to wash all this off. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm going to spray it all off. Make sure any of this oil or whatever, this grass, Make sure there's nothing up underneath here because who knows where it was setting in their yard at. So make sure all that stuff's off. And then uh, we'll run it some more. Oh, hey guys. So here is the deal. This thing right here, I have no clue. So it smoked. And then it quit smoking, and then it smoked, then it quit smoking. So it's been a few days, and it's rained so far, and uh, I've been out here starting it up, all that good stuff. Starts right up, just like that, fires up great, runs great, it's not smoking any longer. Kind of has a little bit of a smoke smell, but uh, it's not pushing out any kind of smoke so I think I'm ready to sell it and uh, that's it man so there we go 
Hey, this is Rich's Mowers and Blowers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Ding! Get notified every time there's a new video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Hey, we'll see you next time.